In our last tutorial, we took a quick look at how you could make a quick title in Quick Titler. And uh, this tutorial is actually uh, an extension of that and uh, really builds on that. So if you have not yet taken the time to look at uh, the tutorial entitled Easy Titles with Quick Titler, uh, you should uh, do that first and then come back and watch this uh, tutorial. Okay, let's open up our program and see what we can do about uh, creating a lower third using the title tool that comes with Edius. And what we mean by lower thirds is really a, a title graphic uh, to state who is speaking if you're doing an interview. And uh, people can get uh, very creative uh, with lower thirds in both the way that they design the lower third and uh, how the lower third comes on. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll concentrate mostly on how to create one uh, using Quick Titler. And uh, so let's open up our title tool. And you remember that you can do that from the bin window. Just click on the T. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, probably create a shape. And uh, you'll see that besides uh, creating text graphics, that you can also choose to make uh, shapes. Um, they can be a rectangular, an oval, uh, or a variety of triangles. Let's work with the rectangular uh, shape tool. And as you look down here, you'll see that you have a variety of shapes that you can start with. Um, I think maybe let's, uh, we did this with 5.5. Let's use this uh, preset to start with again. And uh, we can then go in and create and work with that shape by just drawing a rectangle with your mouse. Drag that across. Keep it in the title safe area that we talked about last time. And then just let your mouse button go. And uh, now we have a title bar. And I know it looks kind of funky and crazy, uh, but we can work with that. We can make changes to that. And you're not limited to just a solid color or a color gradient like this uh, as you make uh, your title bars. You can also work with a texture file. Uh, just check the texture file box and then go find your texture that you want to use. And uh, that brings in your texture and you could go ahead and just work with that. But let's uh, work with uh, the color gradients for this tutorial. And uh, like we say, we can uh, go and uh, modify these colors. Uh, we notice, uh, first of all, that uh, it's working with kind of a wide range of colors here. As we look over to our settings here, we see that uh, we're working with five different colors in our gradient here. We can choose any one of these colors and change it just by double clicking on it. Um, maybe change that to a red, hit OK and uh, <laughs> see what that does. Uh, you can change the direction of the gradient uh, by turning our little arrow here. Uh, but uh, it's a little unusual to work with that many colors uh, in a gradation like that. Uh, so let's maybe change this fr from five down to, oh, maybe let's try three. And then let's uh, change our colors so that our range of colors uh, is a little bit more normal and natural. Let's maybe uh, choose kind of a harvest theme. And uh, there's several different ways you can pick colors. You, you could go uh, with any of these colors as standard uh, starts, or you can, uh, with your mouse, move this around to find uh, a good starting point. And you can also uh, find a, a wider range of, of colors from that selection by moving our slider bar up and down. So you can see you have uh, every color of the rainbow to choose from here. Let's maybe uh, start with kind of a darker um, orangish color. And then with our second color, let's uh, choose something perhaps a little bit more to the brownish. And then with our last one, let's go uh, to maybe a darker brown. Okay, so now we have a, a nice little gradation there. And uh, perhaps we want to uh, back off on the transparency a little bit there. And uh, as we noticed in our last tutorial, the transparency works a little bit different than Photoshop or some other programs. To make your graphic more transparent, you actually add to the percentage. And uh, 
And it's a little counterintuitive, but actually, as you think about it, it kind of makes more sense. At least if you think about it as adding to your transparency, the more percentage, the more transparent it becomes, right? So as we add it more and more to it, it becomes more and more transparent. Okay, but let's try somewhere uh, right around there. Okay, and uh, let's maybe just uh, scroll down here and see if there's anything else that we could do to this title bar to make it uh, a little bit more interesting. Maybe we could add a little drop shadow to it and see if there's anything we could do with uh, an emboss that might enhance it a little bit. Embossing kind of went out back in the late 90s, but uh, it's good to know that you still have the options if you'd like to try that. Try the inside or the outside. All right, well, let's uh, maybe go ahead and uh, uh, lay in our title. For that, we need to go up to our, our T icon and uh, so that we can make our text. And uh, let's choose our, our preset that we made. And the name of our girl is Vani. So let's type. And of course, once you have your title typed in, you can go in and change the, the size of it, uh, the font that you want to use. One way that you can change the size of uh, any text is to go ahead and grab the corner pin and with your shift key held down, just drag that down uh, until it's about the size that you want to use. And uh, then just by pointing to our title again, we can now move it and place it uh, wherever we like. Let's bring it down into our title bar graphic. Let's go ahead and leave some room for a logo here. I think that should be plenty of room there. And as we place this on our title bar, we, we see that the drop shadow is just maybe a little bit too pronounced. And so with our title selected, let's go and uh, back off on the um, shadow a little bit. I think we've got just uh, maybe a little bit too much soft width. Let's go back on that, bring it down to six. And then our transparency, maybe just a little bit more on that, maybe 90%. That looks a little better. Now, sometimes when you get one element over top of another, you might find yourself not being able to select what you want uh, readily. If you're not careful, you might select uh, the wrong element. Just click outside of the element again and try again. Point more inside the element that you want, and now we've got that selected. And uh, like I say, you could go and change the font if you like, uh, kerning, uh, all of the typical things that you might be able to do to adjust text in uh, any text program is available here uh, in the Quick Titler. If you want to change the color, uh, we could do that here in the Fill Color. Just uh, go and, and double click on the white box there and uh, we uh, could select a really funky blue color. We could select uh, any range of colors there. Let's try, just for fun, a dark blue. And if you wanted to, again, you could uh, select a range of colors. Uh, let's change this from one to two and set up a range of colors. Right now it's uh, going from the blue to the the black default one there, but let's maybe change that to kind of more of a different shade of blue there. And now we've got kind of a, a gradiated blue there. Okay, but I kind of like uh, just having the white in this case, so let's go back to that. Okay, now let's say we want to do just a little bit more with her title. Um, maybe want to tell a little bit about uh, where she lives and uh, maybe the grade that she's in. And so we want to kind of create a, a, maybe some subtitles here. An easy way to duplicate uh, the style and uh, font that you are using is to just go ahead and point to the graphic that you already have there and do a copy and paste. And now you have two instances of that and you can drag one down. Now the first thing we'll probably want to do is uh, change the size of our subtitle. Let's just, with our shift key held down, I'll bring that graphic down a bit and bring it down a little bit. You can also use your arrow keys to kind of nudge uh, text into place. And now again, to change the text, just double click inside the box itself, and now we can change the text. And uh, again, we can uh, 
reposition that, just nudge it up with our arrow key once it's selected. And let's say we want one more uh, line of titles. And we, the second or the, or the third line would be the same size as our second line. So let's just go and select that and do a copy paste of that and then drag that down. And now we can double click in that and change that title. That way we can tell where she lives. Now we see that we've got some problems here. Let's select our second line. I think we can nudge that up a little bit to give us a little bit more breathing room. And then we can probably select this, the third line and bring it down just a little bit and over just a little bit to line it up with our grade six. And there we have our title graphic. Maybe let's select this one and just move it up just a hair and maybe over a little bit. And it's really up to your artistic taste as to how your subtitles line up there. Uh, you might want to, to, to move this over so that... Let's maybe turn on our grid here so that... Uh, the very corner portion of our V lines up with the beginning of our other text. And if we wanted to, we could uh, use a line of that grid and then do the same with all the titles, nudging them over with our arrow keys. All right, and then if we feel that that's too far over now, we could select all uh, three elements just by holding your control key down, and now we can nudge all three uh, over at the same time. Okay, so I think we have our title. Let's go ahead and save that. And uh, Edius will bring that into the bin that you have open, to the very bottom of the bin. And now we can just drop it onto our timeline, and it shows up. Now, once you get the lower third in place on your timeline, you take a look at it, you're not quite happy with the way it looks and you want to make some adjustments, some changes, you can simply just uh, double click on the title graphic right on the timeline itself. And that will uh, open up your quick title tool and you can go ahead and uh, make some changes. I think what I'd like to do is go ahead and uh, change the color of the actual title bar itself. So I'll go ahead and uh, click on my select tool and select my um, graphics bar itself and uh, go ahead and uh, not quite happy with the harshness of our orange color here. So I want to just uh, darken that up a little bit. And uh, just to give us a little bit more gradation there, maybe we don't need three, let's go to two and uh, choose uh, a little darker red and uh, bring it into the browns there. And that's just a, a lot more subtle, I think. And uh, we can hit OK. Now, uh, it could be that uh, our subtitles are just a little large. Let's go ahead and uh, change our font size on that. All right, and uh, once you're happy with the way things are being placed there, um, to save your changes, you can just go up and uh, click on the X, and it'll ask you, do you want to save those changes? And you can say, yes, you do. And that looks uh, a little better. We probably don't want that title bar popping on. Let's go ahead and dissolve that up. Turn our Mix tool on. Let's open it up a little bit. And... Uh, Set a node there and uh, bring the first node down and do the same at the other end. Add another node and uh, bring that down. And now the title will dissolve up. When I am not stirring or scooping my morning. But uh, perhaps you would like to have that uh, lower third or title graphic slide on. Uh, you can do that with the layout tool um, almost same way that we showed you with in our previous tutorial how you can move the titles across you can move the whole graphic as well let's go to our layout tool and uh, go ahead and check position and uh, go over here and click on these little uh, keyframes and you'll see that that adds a keyframe to the uh, very first frame of our graphic now we can go over to position 
and uh, slide that over to the uh, very extreme left so that it's completely off the screen. And we could do that by slowly sliding our percentage with our mouse. Um, let's just go ahead and try a minus 100% and see what that does. It does, it takes it right off the screen. And so for our very first frame of our video now, it's completely off. And uh, let's go maybe just uh, two seconds or maybe one and a half seconds into our shot and add another position keyframe. And this time let's uh, go back to our position tool and type in zero and hit OK. And now we'll see that our graphic uh, slides on. When I am not stirring or scooping, my mornings are filled with... Now, uh, even though we have it slide on, we'll probably want to just dissolve it off. So again, we can use our mix tool and uh, just bring down the, the last node there uh, so that it's right down to 0%. And now our graphic will dissolve off. Well, that shows you how you can make a quick lower third using Quick Titler. Um, again, you can open it up and make some adjustments if you like. Uh, let's say in the end, you know, I really would prefer to use our, our, our texture file and probably want to back off on the emboss or just unclick it all together so we have a, kind of a cleaner uh, background there and uh, see how that looks. And uh, that looks uh, a little better. That's it uh, with using Quick Titler to make lower thirds.